Hello there, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey. I've been getting quite a few questions and comments recently of people wanting to know what the drill drawing software is that I'm using to make all my videos. Um, so I figured I'd make a quick video today showing you guys uh, how you can get the software, uh, you know, where you get it, how you get it, uh, downloading and installing it, and then a little bit of the functionality of the software. So you can kind of get acquainted with it, see if it's something that might be useful for you uh, in your coaching endeavors. Um, the functionality of the software is actually quite large, so I might end up breaking this video into two or three separate videos. So um, make sure that you come back, follow back, keep, uh, uh, keep track of it because there will be subsequent videos coming out after this that will also deal with Drill Draw. So to get Drill Draw, go ahead and log in to weisstechhockey.com slash blog. That is my blog page, and what you'll do is go over and you'll notice that there's the graphic here. Get the same drill drawing software that I use in all my videos. And the software itself is called Drill Draw. So what you'll do is you'll click the graphic and that will take you to a purchase page. Now the way that Drill Draw is set up, um, basically there are two versions of the software. There's a standard and a pro version. Um, the standard version is a, a little bit more basic than the pro version. The pro version has a little bit more functionality with it. Uh, then within those two options, um, you also have the option of purchasing either a 12-month or a permanent license. So the permanent license is just a one-time flat fee and that's it. You've purchased software, um, don't have to worry about it anymore. 12-month license basically is just an annual subscription. So once the year is up, you'll have to renew it. Um, so depending on your situation and what you're looking to do with it, uh, you can check out whether the standard or pro versions make more sense to you and whether or not you want to do the 12-month uh, or permanent licensing. And you can do whichever option you choose through the website here. Um, just as a side note, there is, we've got a kind of a checklist included down here, down below, uh, which basically just goes through and talks about the differences between standard and pro versions. So you can go through, check that out, and um, once you figure out which one makes the most sense for you, then just come back, you'll select whichever one it is, um, and then go through the checkout process. We use PayPal because it's a you know, well-renowned, uh, very uh, you know, established online purchasing entity here. Uh, if you purchase a standard version and later decide you wish that you would have purchased the pro version, uh, we do have a, a way that you can upgrade your standard license to a pro license. Uh, so basically you just pick, you know, if, if, if I bought the 12-month or sorry, the permanent standard license, and I wanted to upgrade to the permanent pro license, uh, then I just go right here, select it, put in my uh, my current license number, and then we'll be able to process that through uh, through for you, so that you can upgrade into that pro version. So once you've gone through the uh, the whole checkout process, you'll be taken to the confirmation page. Now, typically the orders take 24 to 48 hours to process, but we wanted you to be able to start using the software right away. So what we've done here is we've included a download here link, and um, it's right here. What this will do is will be download the trial version for you, so you can start using it immediately. Then once you get your access code, um, all you'll do at that point is just enter it in, and you can it'll basically convert your trial version into whichever version you purchased, so maybe a, a permanent pro license. Um, you'll also notice that we do have a, uh, a special bonus offer, and this is only available through our site here at WeissTechHockey.com. Um, it's the, our, our monthly expander pack, and I do encourage you to give this a try. We do, we, we're including, along with your purchase, a free trial, no matter which version that you purchase. You'll get a free trial of our monthly expander pack, and um, I'll let you kind of go through. We'll actually talk about this a little bit later in uh, one of the subsequent videos. But I did want to point that out for you. It's something that uh, I'm really excited to be offering along with your Drill Draw subscription. So um, let's go ahead and uh, just so you see it, if you click here, basically that just pulls up the, uh, the download file for you and you can download and install it. Once you've installed your Drill Draw, um, this is what it will look like when it pops up on your screen. And uh, when you first open it up, uh, and it's been a while since I purchased mine, but I believe that it gives you the option of selecting which sport 
you're going to be using this for. Now the really cool thing about drill draw, obviously it's great for ice hockey, that's what I primarily use it for uh, myself, but it actually offers 12 different sports. So it has most of the mo more popular sports um, in North America, and then a, a few that maybe aren't as popular in North America, but you know, popular in other places of the world. So, if ice hockey's your game, you've got ice hockey. Um, but it, maybe in the summers you coach baseball as well. So you've got baseball, basketball, soccer, football, kind of the main North American sports. Uh, and then it also adds a few others that uh, you might be interested in, in as well. So, uh, drill draw is great for ice hockey, but at the same time, um, you know, you can also use it for any of your other sports. So obviously we'll go ahead and select ice hockey. Um, now once you get into drill draw, there are basically two modes. Uh, there's a drill editing mode, and that's where you're going to diagram all your drills. Um, and then uh, there's the practice planning mode. Um, so drill draw editing mode, that's where you're going to drill. That's where you're going to draw up all your drills. And then once you go to pr plan your practices, you're going to click over into practice mode. So those are kind of the two primary modes that you're going to be using. Um, for this particular uh, demonstration, what I wanted to do is just kind of go through a basic drill editing mode for you and show you some of the functionality with editing and drawing up your own drills. So what you'll do is you'll click New, and then uh, we'll select a drill template, and it gives you a bunch of different templates. Um, we'll go ahead, and you can, you can actually click Preview and see <coughs> what some of these templates look like. In fact, I believe Preview is only available through the Pro version. The version I'm using is the Pro version. <coughs> Uh, so there are a number of different templates. Um, some are full page templates, some are just you know maybe a third page template. So if you're looking to put two or three different drills on the same page, you can do that. Um, but we'll go ahead and do the full page template for, for now. Open it up. And there's the full page template. Okay? Now you've got your drawing tools. We'll open up the drawing tools right here. And the one of the really good reasons why I selected drill. I, I tested a few different uh, drill drawing softwares and settled in on drill draw for a number of reasons. One is the functionality. Um, you can categorize your drills, which I loved. Um, it also has you know, the, the same symbolism and, and lines that I use. Um, it, it, it follows that same, I guess, terminology. So, you know, a straight line for skating straight, a squiggly line for uh, stick handling with the puck, a dotted line for passes. Um, so it, it, it was very compatible with my current, uh, you know, coaching style that I was already using. So um, basically here you've got all your different types of lines. So you can do, a, you know, select whatever type of line you want and then select whatever type of arrow you want at the end of it. And then you can just, you can just draw. If you want to do straight lines, um, you can do that too. You just click over on the straight button and then basically you click, you left click, <coughs> drag it out to where you want to be, left click again, and then you can turn a corner. And then when you're done with your line, <coughs> excuse me, all you do is right click and that finishes up your line. Now, um, if you wanted to edit that line afterwards, all you do is right click again and now you can select the line. So if I wanted to maybe make this final arrow end up over here, I can do that. So, so the lines are very manipul manipulatable um, after you've drawn them in. Um, let's say that you drew a line and then you decided later on you wanted to change the color of the line. Then you go over to your modification options and you can change the color, you can change the width, you can make it thicker or make it thinner. Um, there are a number of different, you can change what type of line it is, so turn it from a, a straight skate into a stick handle line. So there are a lot of different ways, a lot of different functionality for actually drawing up your drills. Um, <coughs> I think that's basically it uh, as far as drawing up a drill goes. And in the next few videos we'll talk a little bit more about um, you know, designing a practice and then I wanted to get into saving. There's really neat ways of saving into different drill banks um, depending on what you're looking to do. So that's the, uh, the first video. Make sure you follow back because uh, there will definitely be more videos showing some of the, uh, the additional uses of drill draw software.